your body can help you overcome your fears. It may seem simply to overcome your fears. However, it isn't so easy when you actually try to do it. Our fears make us take giant steps backward to avoid facing painful emotions that could overwhelm us. Sometimes we pity ourselves because we're unable to overcome our fears by ourselves. We ask for help and blame others or say we have bad luck. We don't realize that the answer and the explanation for why we're suffering lies in ourselves. Our body expresses the feelings we repress. Sometimes you get sudden anxiety or a terrible headache that seems like it will never go away. You hate feeling like this, feeling sick. So much so that you focus on your pain without analyzing what has happened to possibly have triggered what you are now suffering. The anxiety could have been the result of relational experiences where you are afraid of losing people or being abandoned by them. A headache could have come from excessive worry that gets you nowhere, ruminating on certain things in your life. You think of your mind and body as being separate, but you don't realize that what you keep in will end up manifesting in your body as a warning sign. It's not that your body is hurting itself. It's that it is telling you that you need to change something. However, what do we do most of the time? We ignore the warning signs and It's important to overcome your fears if you want to stay out of self-destructive downward spirals. Overcoming your fears, looking them in the face and no longer ignoring them is essential if you want to stay out of those painful, self-destructive downward spirals. Your fears won't walk away by themselves. They need to be confronted and resolved. Fears remain or disappear according to the decisions you make. It's true that facing your fears hurts at first. The pain may be bad enough that you want to escape, run away from such an unpleasant feeling. But giving in and choosing to escape will make it stay there where it will grow a little by little until it manifests in your body more and more. An outbreak of anxiety could lead to eczema. A headache could end up turning into an unbearable migraine. Turning your back on your fears and staying in a situation that is making you so unhappy will turn you into a grey person, lacking any colour or shine. Let's listen to our body and let it push us. What if we started listening to our body? What if you stopped covering your ears and instead listened closely to hear what it is that you must face? It could be telling someone what you think, breaking up with someone who is hurting you, or radically changing the way you are living. Let's use the information that your body may be giving you to get a step up on your fears and learn how to face them so that the power they have over you may lessen. We must remember that fears are just fears. Sometimes they aren't even real but rather things we have created from our insecurities and the false beliefs we harbour in our mind. Let's be brave. Take the pain we feel in our body as help, not hurt.
Let's stop trying to cover it up with medication that just gives us momentary relief. If it persists, it's something that we are resisting. Let's open our ears, figure out the situation we're in and how we are acting. Our body will tell us if we're on the right path or not.